types of basic joint and stress. Joinery, the foundation of woodworking, is a subtle blend of art and engineering. Whether the product is simple tabletop or an ornate chest, its joinery will establish its worth. Strong joints will give it longevity, and their design and craftsmanship will enhance its beauty. The need for joint making derives from the fact that woodworkers make demands on their material that nature never intended. Interlocking curves of fiber link a branch to the tree trunk, while a leg is attached to a table at an abrupt 90 degrees intersection. Thus, Although a properly glued joint is stronger than wood fiber, that bond alone is seldom able to withstand the forces exerted on tables, chairs, cabinets, and doors during normal use. Most joints need some sort of mechanical aid, a reinforcement designed to meet the stresses head-on. From that need springs the craft of joinery. The simplest supports are nails, screws, splines, biscuits, and dowels. These require simply cutting a hole, and adding wood or metal to the intersection of the pieces. Often, this is enough to satisfy structural and aesthetic needs. Sometimes, most often when furniture is involved, greater strength and beauty are called for. The solution then is to cut intersecting pieces so that the gluing area is increased or they form an interlocking bound. Basic Joint Types the blind and through mortise and tenon joints shown below at right improve the strength of a right angle joint, and increase the long grain gluing area. The blind version also partially conceals the joint. The through version, in which the tenon passes through the mating workpiece, can be tightened by the addition of small wedges. types of stress. The illustration shows the four basic types of forces that affect joints, compression, tension, vertical shear, and racking. Compression forces a joint together, while tension pulls it apart. A typical example of tension is an overloaded shelf joint to carcase with dado joints. The weight on the shelf will tend to pull the shelf out of the dados. Vertical shear occurs when the two halves of a joint slide against each other, common with butt joints. Racking, characterized by twisting and bending, is the toughest stress for a joint to endure. Improving a joint's resistance to stress. Simple, unreinforced butt joints resist compression only. They provide poor resistance to tension, shear, and racking. Replacing an edge butt with a tongue and groove joint makes it much more stress resistant. A simple dado joint resists compression, shear, and raking, but tension can pull it apart. Fixing a shelf to a carcase side with a stop sliding dovetail allows the joint to resist tension as well as compression, shear, and racking. <laughs>